friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Taisha with Organized Plans. I want to start by thanking all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me today. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating my Happy Planner Classic Vertical Catch-All Planner for the week of August 14th through the 20th. So if you'd like to join me for this plan with me, then let's get started. <music> Okay, so for this week's spread, I am going to be using the Kelova Plan Summer Florals Volume 2 sticker book. Um, and that's where I'll be um, pulling some florals out of this book. And then um, and I've seen that this one has um, the boxes and bullet points and everything. So I should be able to use pretty much this one sticker book for everything. And then I did see a couple of quotes that I might pull from the Happy Planner. This is the Essential Quote sticker book. Um, and I like it because it has some big quotes that I think um, will coordinate well. So that's what I'll be using for this week. And um, as usual, just start by taking the pages off the disc and put the planner to the side. Um, I did also pull a couple of washi tapes. This one is like a green and pink spotted one with gold and then this um, black and white one as well. So I think I want to use this one, but um, we'll see as we get going. Okay, um, so the florals that I want to use for this week are um, this first set here. Um, I believe the sticker book is still available on the kelovaplan.com um, website. So definitely, if you like this one, um, you know, check it out there. I always have Heather's um, shop list it down below in my description box but I want to use this set up here and I think that washi that has that gold will go really well because um these florals here kind of have a gold um glitter to them but they're not foiled and these are all on clear um sticker paper so I thought that would coordinate really well um, so this is a set I'm going to be using, and it's got some boxes here in the front, um, some great decorative boxes, and then the florals, and as I said, checklists and bullet points and so on. Um, so I'm going to start by just grabbing um, my tweezers, and I have my wax paper, and um, just pulling these up. They are really thin, which is great because they, um, you know, really just blend right onto the page. But you do have to be a bit careful when you're pulling them just because they can tear. Um, but just love these florals. Um, it is still hot <laughs> and humid here in North Carolina, so I am continuing um, with all the summer spreads. I have been, um, you know, purchasing from some of the new releases from the small sticker shops um, for their different fall releases, and I'm looking forward to those. I'm using those, but not quite yet. I want to definitely finish off summer and so you'll probably start to see me do some fall spreads um, beginning September but I am going to finish out August um, with the summer spreads and I know I am ready for this heat to be over with <laughs> for sure though it's been a very hot summer um so i'm definitely looking forward to fall once it comes around and it is uh, my favorite season so cannot wait um okay so i think i've got some great options that i've pulled so far um you get so many florals um 
in this book and they're on these pages. So lots of great options. I think I want to pull um, this kind of pink magenta. It's so pretty. Um, and I'll grab these and I'll do some um, layering. I think I'll bring in some of that. Um, maybe I'll do some of these here. And then I think I'll just do the layering with the green is what I will go with. Maybe I don't really have any yellow in here, so maybe this spread is going to be mostly just pink, um, this magenta pink and green colors. Okay, so I think that probably will be enough to get us started. And for the quote that I was gonna use is this one here that says wild and free. I think it will work. So let me just grab that as well. And I'll just put that on the other side of the wax paper. Okay. So I think that will get us going. Okay. All right. So I hope everyone is doing well out there, staying cool, enjoying the rest of summer. Um, I did post a video over the weekend, um, kind of a back to school um, insert for my planner. Um, and that was just, <laughs> you know, I'm getting ready for my kids to go back to school. They're both in college, but um, just, you know, helping them get ready uh, for their upcoming school years. And um, so that was a lot of fun to create. So if you missed that video, definitely check that out. Um, okay, so I think this will go across really well. I think I want to put this maybe along the top. How about that? And it'll fit right in that, in this section. Really well. And I'm just going to grab my old gift card here just to smooth everything down onto the page. That looks so pretty already. And maybe what I will do is, I think I want to grab the same piece. I think there were um, two of those in the book. And I think I want to grab the same piece, yes. So this piece here, it's nice because you can kind of do like a top and the bottom or going across with it. Oops. Um, so let me just grab that and I'm going to kind of set it up the same way and I probably will trim it slightly because I want to put that other piece, another piece kind of going along the side. So let me just grab my kind of X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna trim. And these stickers are very sticky. So I'm gonna try not to tear my page, although it is tearing some, okay. So I have that piece, and then I think I want to kind of connect it with, with like this piece here. Um, hmm. Okay. I think I can make that work. 
This will do a little bit of an overlap. So I'm just gonna put this right to the corner. Just try to line it up. Just like that and I think I'm gonna trim it so it's not overlapping with the other sticker. So I'm just gonna trim it right along that line. Okay, so that looks nice. It, it sort of looks like one continuous flower um, going across. And then I want to bring in Oh, this is such a pretty sticker with that magenta pink. Really pretty. So I think I want to go into the corner here. Kind of create a corner sticker with that gold. So that's really pretty. I'll just trim off the extra. Okay. and just going to grab my gift card and again just smooth everything down that just helps take the air bubbles out and it makes it look more seamless onto the page so really pretty and then I'm gonna just grab some of that washi and let's see um, yeah, that looks pretty. Okay, so let me just put that alongside there at the bottom. Just put it down. And then I'm just gonna trim right along that edge. And same thing here. Okay. Uh, and then I want to do kind of that same floral, maybe just the same um, just debating yeah I don't I don't think I want to go along the border so I'm just gonna put it right um, on that edge as well and then just trim off along the side so I would love to hear if anyone has picked up um, any of the new fall sticker books or not from some of the fall, um, small shops. I'm also looking forward to the Happy Planner release itself, the fall release. Once that comes around, I'm thinking that will be sometime um, early September. So that's just around the corner as well. So lots of fun stuff happening. Um, and I also saw on Instagram about Go Wild, um, which is kind of like the annual planner conference. I've never been to Go Wild before, and I'm hopeful um, I'll be able to go for 2024. Um, so I know I've seen some details around it's going to be um, hosted in Dallas, Texas this year, or next year rather. Um, it's the hotel it's going to be at and pricing and so forth. So I know I've been trying to save along the way um, and looking forward to, to going. So definitely if you've been... Um, checking out any of that and are planning to go to Go Wild for next year. I um, would love to hear that. 
down below. Um, and yeah, just exciting times. Lots, lots of great things going on in the planner community. So, um, so I'm loving how this is looking so far um, with the florals, kind of the top and the bottom. And um, so now I think I want to put in some of my boxes and um, I know I, I don't have too much going on this week, which is nice. Um, it, I have actually a very busy week coming up at work, um, but not too busy of a week personally, you know, at home and so forth. So um, let's see if I can get that down a little bit straighter. Just grab my undo so I don't tear the page. Um, so that is going to allow me to make a fairly decorative um, page because um, I'll have kind of plenty of room to write my plans in and so forth. And this is just undo. Um, I am getting down to the very <laughs> bottom of it. I've been trying to conserve using it sparsely. Um, I do need to order some more off of Amazon and I always have that link down um, in the description box of all my videos. But um, so that allows me to kind of pull up the sticker without it tearing the page and I can stick it back down. So just letting that dry. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I don't have too busy of a week, which is nice um, outside of a, personally outside of a, a busy week at work. Um, so I'm going to try to put this down again. I think I have that straight this time around. And I think I'm gonna use the green sticker to overlap with it and I know um, on on fr uh, Tuesday the 15th is the Live Love Posh um, her fall release so I definitely want to have a box to notate that and then I have this sticker here and really pretty so I'm just thinking how I want to place this. Um, I could do it like this. I don't know. I kind of want to put it on an angle. So let me give that a shot. And as a result, I'm going to just white out. This is, I'm using my Uniball Signo white pen and just lightly going over that line just so that I can kind of blur out some of that white underneath the sticker when I go to place it down. Sorry, to blur out some of that black line underneath the sticker. Okay, I think I'll just go down to the bottom. Okay, so I'll let that dry. And, okay, since I have yellow in, in that sticker, I think I want to bring maybe a few of these yellow boxes in as well. And maybe I can use that for the bullet points too. So just wanna let that dry and just pulling a few more of those boxes. Okie dokie. Okay. So maybe something like that and I'll just have it overlapping. I think that looks great. 
All right, and I just will kind of smooth it all down. And I'm thinking about a box here. And then maybe the smaller, smaller yellow box, potentially. Maybe not. Okay. I'll come back to it. Um, and just move on to the right side of the page. And I think I want to put this one here. And just do another green overlapping with it and I need to bring some yellow onto this side of the page so I think I'm going to do this box here okay and hmm this one here and then I need a couple of um, checklists so let me see what I can grab um, for checklists okay friends I'm back I just grabbed Mojo Jojo plans her check it off as well I know that um, and I'm gonna use these yellow ones here. I know in Heather's book, she's got some checklists too, but I like these ones that are a little bit um, skinnier. So that's what I'm just gonna put here. And I think that yellow will be a nice pop onto the page. All right, and that gives me some good function. And I don't think I like this letter kind of coming through the sticker. So I'm actually going to um, trim this part off. And just have it overlap, or not overlap rather, with the writing space here. Hopefully I can just get this little piece up. Okay. And then just trim the rest of that part, that clear part as well. Okay. That looks good. And I'm loving how this is looking. I think I'm gonna put, just grab my tweezers, maybe um, maybe one here and one here, or here, here and here. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to put one here and then one here. So I love it. Um, so yeah, I'll see if I find another quote or something to fill in the, in this space. But love how this came together. Um, definitely you have to let me know if you have this sticker book too and if you've used this one. Um, but that's going to do it for this plan with me. Um, so if you like this video, click that like button and give me a thumbs up. And um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye friends. Oh,